Okay, I'm going to um, work through, uh, this is exam one uh, from this fall semester, and I'm going to work through some of these uh, problems that were on there that might be beneficial for you to review as you prepare for your final exam. Um, so the first question I'm going to work is a specific gravity problem um, where you have a solution whose density is 1.12 grams per milliliter at 291.35 Kelvin and if you review or remember um, that the specific gravity is going to be compared or is going to be the density of the substance under these conditions compared to the density of water um, under those con under those same conditions so um, this was a question where you did not get a um, like a plus or minus one in the last sig fig uh, you know on on your answer um, <clears throat> so we're gonna look at this problem and how to solve it uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna give me a pin right here and we'll start working it um, now this Celsius temperature um, is important for this because you had a reference material if you've kept up with that you will get to use it on your final exam um, where you can look at these uh, temperatures and it tell you the density of water at a specific uh, Celsius temperature. So um, the first thing you might want to do is you go to set this up to solve for um, get my pen to write correctly here specific gravity is going to be the density of the substance divided by the density of water. Um, so let's go ahead and look and see what this temperature would be uh, in Celsius, uh, the 291.35 Kelvin. So all you have to do is subtract from that the 273.15 and it'll give you your Celsius temperature. Um, <clears throat> so you could do that, you know, just without a calculator, but if you, you know, want to use your calculator, that's fine. Um, but the Celsius temperature that you're looking at uh, referencing for the water is going to be, uh, once you subtract it, um, so you're going to have 1818.20 degrees Celsius. So you go to your reference, uh, here's your 18, here's your 0.2. So this is the density of water that you're going to use to solve that solve the problem. Um, so that's uh, what you're going to put in for the bottom number. <coughs> we'll go back to our picture here. Um, so we have 1.12 grams per milliliter divided by the 0.998558 grams per milliliter for the water to get this specific gravity. And it's going to have no units. Uh, they're going to go away. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to calculate one point one two divided by point nine nine eight Five, five, eight. And just real quick, I'll go back and just make sure that I typed everything in correctly. 0.998558. And then I get my answer. Um, and as you can see, I have three significant figures um, that I'm going to use for the answer. So this is also going to be 1.12 for the specific gravity, only there are no units. Um, and then just make sure that you know that that's where you end your number and it has no units <coughs> so that would be your answer for that particular question so its specific gravity is 1.12 um, now similar problem we have here um, the same density uh, as before 
we have this temperature now is 86.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. And in your notes, you should have, um, or make it should make it onto your notes if it isn't by the time you take your final, um, a formula to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So when you uh, do that, I mean, you're going to need that for your, you know, your actual density of water at that temperature. So you have the same uh, density for the substance on top, but now you might have a different density for the water. So we need to figure out what our um, Celsius temperature is so we can go and check that. So you have to subtract your 86.6 .6 Fahrenheit uh, minus 32. So that's going to be, you know, and that's going to be divided by 1.8. So you subtract that and you get 54.6 divided by 1.80. And then just to make sure that we check and make sure we don't make any errors, we're going to let's see, 54.6 divided by 1.80. And you get 30.3 degrees Celsius. So then we're going to use that temperature to go back to our chart here. 30.3 degrees Celsius. Right there. So now we're using 0.99555 for the density of water at that temperature. So 0 0.99555 grams per milliliter will go on the bottom right there. So now we need to check our, uh, find out our specific gravity. 1.12 divided by 0.99555. And now we have a number 1.12500627827 blah, blah, blah. So we're going to have a specific gravity of 1.13 because since that's uh, a num there are numbers after the 5 and that's an even number but it won't matter because it, there are numbers after the 5. So it's going to round up and you're going to be specific gravity of 1.13. And again, it's unitless. So there you go. So those types of questions um, are a possibility for your final exam. And then uh, in the next video, we'll look at another type of question that you can practice from exam one and hopefully have some good notes for that in case you have a question like it.